Welcome back everyone. Today we're going to see how to do a pause menu. So let's jump right into it. So we're going to go to the project setting and make sure that when you add your action mapping, you call that pause menu or anything you want. I'm going to assign P and escape as escape does not work when you play in the editor, when, but when you compile your game and ready for shipping, escape will work and we're going to have P as well, just for the editor. So when that is done, we're going to go back to our first person character. So it's everything we did last time. So I just changed the colors for the um, comment box for each of them. So I think it's just a little bit easier that way. So we're going to go find some empty space right here. And we're going to search for that uh, pause menu that we created. So we're going to take the action event that we created in the project setting and from that we need to be aware of two things here so if you want your pause menu to only work once and that you have to press a key on your pause menu itself to return to the game you don't check this box if you want to be able to press for example escape and when you want to unpause the game press escape again make sure that you check this box it's going to make sure that we are able to action not action but use this key when the game is paused so that that's important that you put that if you don't put it you will need a key on your pause menu itself to return to your game so we're going to check this right now um, so from the press here we're going to search for flip flop so when we're going to press once, it's going to pause the game. And when we're going to press again, it's going to unpause the game. So let's try from that and set game pause. And we're going to take this one. And we're going to make sure that we check this box to make it true. And from that, we're going to create our pause menu, which is going to be create widget. And in a few minutes, we're going to assign the class here when we're going to create this. And we're going to drag from the return value and we're going to add this to the viewport. So add to viewport, which is there. And when we add that to the viewport, we want to make sure that we can use our um, mouse. So we're going to need to get the player controller. So we're going to take this and from the return value, we're going to show mouse cursor and we're gonna get not gonna get but we're gonna set the mouse cursor so take this one and make sure that we check this box for true and now what is doing when we press once is gonna pause the game gonna create that menu gonna display that menu to our screen and it's gonna show our mouse so now when we press again we want to unpause the game so same thing we're gonna drag from B we're gonna set game pause and this time we're going to make sure that it's unchecked we want to when we uncheck that we want the pause menu to disappear from the screen so we're going to drag from the return value here i'm going to just remove from parent and we're going to plug this right there so from that now we can just drag and get a show mouse cursor so i'm just going to copy this Control C, Control V. I'm going to plug this right there and make sure that we uncheck this because we don't want that on our screen anymore. And that we plug this to get player control. So if you compile this, now you're going to have two errors, which is for not having any class selected here. I mean, any uh, widget blueprint here selected. So let's create this now. So we're going to go to our content browser. And here in our widgets folder, we're going to create a user interface and we're going to create another widget blueprint. We're going to take user widget. I'm going to do W underscore pause underscore menu. And I'm going to open that right now. So from that, we're going to add a canvas panel. And we're going to draw the canvas panel to the uh, pause menu. From this we're going to search for vertical box so let's search for vertical box we're going to drag that over the canvas panel 
with the vertical box selected, we're going to anchor this to the middle of the screen because we want that to be perfectly in aligned in the screen. What we're going to do here, the position, we're going to put zero and zero. What it's doing for us is bring that very close to the middle. So to be aligned perfectly in the middle, just put 0.5 and 0.5. So now it's perfectly aligned in the middle for us. We're going to make sure that we also size the content. So everything that we're going to put in that box will push that box like on each side so that way we can uh, see the text that we're going to put and everything else. So we're going to size the content. We're going to search for button because we need a button to to work. So we're going to make that over the vertical box on the vertical box. So now we have a button here. So from that button here, we're just going to rename this button and I'm going to call this um, play. So as I said earlier, you can press P or escape to go back to the game or I'm going to have one that just say play. So you can click that as well if you want. So from the play uh, button selected, I'm going to call that play BTN for button. And on that play button here, we're going to have the text. So search for text. We're going to drag a normal text to the button here. And now we have our text. So we're going to select this text and we're going to take this content here and we're just going to write play in it. So now we have our play button in it. So we can unzoom out just to give an ID. So from that button here, we can change a few things. So we can take our text, you know, and change color and things like this. We can take our play button here. And the play button, I want just have the background a kind of a reddish color. So I'm going to put zero here and zero here. So when I have a red, I want that a little bit, you know, darker red. So I'm going to take around this. And if you put a color opacity here, it's just going to change the text color, right? So you can put what you want. I'm going to leave it as default, which is uh, white. There we go. So now our button is there. So obviously you can do way more with that. So I believe that if you click on the text here, you can always go on font here and change it obviously to bold or italic or whatever you want. So it's no big deal. I'm going to leave it as normal. Doesn't bother me too much. I can always come back there if I have to. And the outline, if you want that to have a little bit of black around your letter, so you can put a number. I'm going to put three for an example. And now you see there's a big line around it. So I think it's a little bit better. So I'm going to go with one. So it's a little, I think it's look great like this. So I'm going to compile that. Now our button, the first one is done. So we're going to create three more. So we're going to just right click on the play button and duplicate that. And I'm just going to name this one. I rename this one. I'm going to call that. Uh, controls and I'm going to make sure that we click on text after that and change the play text to controls and I'm going to duplicate that button once again and I'm going to name this one options setting option anything around those lines and I'm going to make sure I get the text and call it options I'm going to put that with a O oh. Magical, uh, I'm going to copy that text once again, not copy, but duplicate this text. And this one will be returned to main menu. So main menu. And I'm going to make sure I click on the text and main menu. Here we go. So now you have it. So we're going to compile that. And now we can go back to our first person character. And just test this out. It's really important to test uh, once in a while. Otherwise, you can get confused and don't know if you have any errors. And it's just it's just a mess. So we're going to test this out now. So we're going to select our widget blueprint that we just created. So the pause menu. And now when we compile, it should be perfectly removing all those errors for us. So we are ready to try this out. So let's go to the first person map. Press play. So now when we play, if you press 
P. You're going to have your pause menu. Your mouse cursor is going to show. And you're not going to be able to do anything else other than moving your mouse. And if you press P again, it's going to unpause the game for us. So one more thing before we're done. We are going to just take this and do a comment on that to make sure that we remember what this does for us. And I'm just going to call that pause menu. And I'm going to put a kind of an orange-ish color, something like this. There we go. I'm going to make that a little bit bigger. Perfect. So I have my pause menu here. Compile. Everything is working. So in the next episode, we're going to continue our pause menu to make that um, to make that, but to make it work for us. So I'll catch you on the next one. See ya.